Hello my lovelies, Coley here, and I have probably one of the most beautiful backgrounds I think I've ever had in a video, but I am currently in New Zealand. I am kind of down on the South Island in the southeast coast of it, right near the Meraki boulders. They're about, I don't know, half a mile that way, which is kind of cool. Uh, I am here traveling and I've been on the road now for the last two and a half months. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably would have known that though. Um, you would have seen that I was just in Australia for two and a bit months. And now I'm here in New Zealand and I'm going to be in here for the next month or so. And then I think we're going to head up to Asia. And I'm here with Jules who works with me and works for my company. But that's what we're going to talk about today is work because the number one question I always get from all of you, besides you guys asking me for an updated tattoo tag, is how I'm able to afford to travel, how am I able to travel for so long, how am I able to pay for it, how do I manage my money, and all that kind of stuff with how basically I'm able to travel for eight, nine months of the year, which is kind of what I'm doing this year. I left in January and I don't think I'm going to go home until like August, September, which is pretty exciting. So we're going to crack on into it and I'm going to tell you guys about how I work and how I budget my money and all that jazz. So I'm going to start off with saying what I do for work. I am the CEO and the owner of a digital media company called Coley Media Co. It's named after me because I founded the company, but I have a couple of employees that work for me and we're a digital media company. What does that mean? What do we do? The one thing that the company is the most dedicated to is helping brands create a stronger foundation with their online presence and creating a more cohesive brand. And what I mean by that is websites, uh, making sure that your website is uh, current and it's mobile friendly and it speaks true to your brand we do a lot of like brand design as well logo design and all the other kind of stuff that goes into branding and I do a lot of social media um, marketing consulting as well so I have a few clients that come to me with certain projects and I will budget them out for them and I will tell them all about all of the different things that I do I'm gonna pull up my company's website here um, just so I can give you kind of a bit of an overview of what I do I'm gonna try and not ramble on about it too too much because obviously you guys can probably just go and visit my site it's coleymediaco.com and that is basically what I do for work. But Coley Media Co. is, I'm gonna read you my little blurb about what we are. Coley Media Co. is an international based creative studio run by avid travelers dedicated to building authentic and current brands. Marrying our two loves of imagery and the digital world, we're committed to helping you to take your brand to a new level. Whether it's functionally unique websites, jewel worthy photography, or social media consistency, we're here for all your digital needs. So. That basically sums it up, but um, as you guys know, I am a professional photographer. I went to school for photography. I also went to school for digital communications and marketing. So I do a lot of work with different brands and currently what I have been doing is targeting a lot of tourism based companies whilst I'm abroad and helping them take their brands to the next level, redoing their websites for them, redoing their photography for them and um, helping set them up on social media. But I offer a variety of different services. We also have an entire color suite which is a huge section of my company. I do photo editing for a couple of different photographers. so I. Uh, they send me all their pictures and I color batch color grade everything for them. I also do retouching for people. Uh, we have a service called the Signature Color, which is one of my absolute favorite services. I love when I get clients uh, with that because what it basically is, is people pay me and uh, they send me all of their favorite pictures and photographs of the kind of color grading that they really like and what they want their pictures to look like and they send me some raw files and I design custom presets for them. If you aren't a photographer you probably don't know what presets are but if you are or you've dabbled in Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw which is the presets that you apply in Photoshop um, it's basically a quicker way to post process your photos and 
now in today's day and age we have a lot of photographers coming out with sets of presets i personally even sell a set of presets on my site as well which is another way that i generate income you guys always are asking me how i edit my instagram photos that's how i edit them i spent the last like three years designing a set of presets that i kind of use and i go through um, every photo i take basically gets used one of the presets that i have um, they're available for sale you can find them up on the, that website as well but uh, maybe I can do a video about how I personally use the presets if you guys are interested in that you guys can let me know down below but back to the signature color um, presets are a huge thing and I think that now especially with like VSCO cam and the tribe uh, and looks like film there's a lot of people whose photographs are all looking the exact same and there's a lot of photographers that are now looking to be able to find their own identity and that's kind of what that service is there for is um, people can show me the kind of work that they want to emulate uh, color grading wise and I can take it and I can see what inspires them and design custom presets for them to use that no one else has which is awesome and then other services we include, include the complete branding experience, which is a huge overhaul of like web design and uh, logo design and uh, sometimes e-commerce. I'm able to set that up for people too. And a lot of brand collaterals like media kits or business cards or whatever kind of that client wants. Um, I include four extra collaterals on top of the entire uh, rebranding online. The other thing that I do is I do a lot of social media consulting. So I have Social Media 101, which is where I've done a fair amount of these where people will call me and we'll do a Skype call one-on-one -on -one for three hours and I walk them through each of the social media platforms and explain to them how they work and the proper protocols that um, you should follow. I also teach um, at the university that I used to go to. I um, went to the Vancouver Institute of Media Arts and I've gone in now a couple of times to their classes and I do workshops on social media and how to properly market yourself on each platform because the platforms are ever-changing and they can be quite complex uh, for and overwhelming for people who don't totally understand and I see so often companies doing um, malpractices with their social media so I offer that service as well um, and we also do a social media overhaul where people hire me on and I do a complete analysis of their platforms and I do an analysis of all of their competitors and I come up with kind of a strategy plan for them and I walk them through and I teach them how to use proper analytics services and how to use things like Hootsuite and stuff. So there's that. We also do a lot of photography for different companies and yeah, it's this big kind of media company now that I've kind of built up in the last couple of years that I run. And the amazing thing about this company, bringing it back to travel, is that it's completely 100% digitally based, meaning I can work from anywhere in the world as long as I have an internet connection. This also makes it easier because I don't need a work visa to be able to work for my own company. Um, I can be in any kind of country and because my company is t based in Canada and I pay Canadian taxes and my co clients contact me and pay me in Canadian dollars, I don't have to have a work visa to be able to work in other places, if that makes sense. If I was to do work for a specific client here in New Zealand, like if I was to do a photography project, then I would need a work visa, but they're not that hard to come across. So that's kind of how I'm able to afford to travel. This is what I kind of do is I'll go away for a long period of time and while I'm away, I sit and I work. Uh, a lot of the times I'll take like a couple of days off and I'll just work solidly for a few days and then that'll allow me to take a day off um, from working. But more often than not, I'm up first thing in the morning and I work for the first five or so hours of the day and then I go out and I go and explore and travel around. I think that one of the main reasons why I get to work with so many tourism companies now is because I am also a, quite an avid traveler. So not only do I understand it from a marketer's point of view, but I also understand it from a consumer's point of view, which kind of gives me a bit of an edge, which is awesome. But a lot of the time when I'm away too, if I want to stay somewhere for free or if I can't afford to stay somewhere, um, something that we've been doing a lot with my company now is we do outreach where I'll contact a bunch of companies and I'll be like hey in exchange for letting us stay for free where you are 
I'll do a bunch of social media marketing for you or I'll shoot a bunch of photography for, for you or I'll redo your website for you. And that's been quite successful. I am hopefully, when we head up to Asia, I'm gonna work with a couple of dive companies when we're up there and get my um, dive masters and my IDC done while I'm up there in exchange for um, ex in exchange for some media work as well. So that's a lot of word vomit, but that is basically how I personally, what I do for work and how I'm able to afford to travel. Before I leave, getting down more into like the budgeting point of view, before I leave on any trip, I like to have a bit of a cushion of cash before I go, just in case. So for instance, before I left for New Zealand and um, Australia, or before I left for Australia, I had a nice cushion of like eight or $9,000 that I like to have just as backup because I know that I'm gonna be away for a really long time. Um, just in case so when I get there I can get my feet wet and I can see my friends and I don't have to worry so much about working but I take usually one to two really large clients either people who are doing me my complete branding experience or one of the smaller but still quite expensive packages that I offer uh, a month and that's enough for me to be able to fund not only myself but also my employee that works with me, which is Julian. He's now my partner. He is uh, huge now in my company and he's taking a huge offload on me. You wanna come say hi? He's here with me right now. He's helping me film. Hi guys. Hi, this is Julian. <laughs> um, Julian's also my boyfriend, which is awesome because yeah, that's always awesome. But I, I hired him onto my company because I'm now generating enough clients that the amount of work is pretty overwhelming <laughs> and to be able to do what I need to do for work and do what I need to do for you guys and be able to have this YouTube channel and continue this YouTube channel that's super duper important for me and I wasn't really able to do it all myself as you guys have probably noticed in the last year I've become quite I've become quite distant on YouTube because my work outside of YouTube and my company has kind of boomed and I needed to kind of hire someone on. And I also have a few people who I subcontract below me. I've got a couple of graphic designers that sometimes if I personally can't do a task that a client wants, I'll send it to a couple of graphic designers that I know. If I've got some coding um, issues that I personally don't know how to do, then I send it out to a couple of um, computer engineers that I know. So I, I'm able now to comfortably travel and I really don't have to go home. The only reason I'm gonna go home in September is because um, it'll be my nephew's first birthday and I wanna go be home for that. But in general, working remotely has given me enough money to be able to do this full time, which is really awesome. And I get questions from you guys all the time. Like, I don't understand, like, how does your work allow you to do this? Like, how are you able to travel so much? And I genuinely believe that working remotely is the way to do it. If you know how to code, if you know how to um, do graphic design, if you know how to do anything that you can do exclusively from your computer, then you can work anywhere in the world. And right now for us, Vancouver is the second most expensive um, housing market in the world. It's fucked up how expensive it is to live in Vancouver which is obviously where I come from, but it's more expensive for me to live at home in Vancouver and have an apartment and do all that than it is for me to even live abroad. I can usually save, or like, I, I can now, while I'm traveling, save enough money uh, on the side that I can like hopefully save up in the next five years to be able to afford a house back in Vancouver. But if I was living in Vancouver, I wouldn't even be able to afford to save any money because it costs so much just to live there, unfortunately. It's an amazing city, but it's super expensive and it's cheaper for me to be abroad and doing this and working remotely from my computer and um, working for all these different companies and building my portfolio than it is for me to be at home. I feel like this was a lot of word vomit and I hope that I explained this pretty well. Um, if I have any advice for anyone, my number one tip, if you want to be able to afford to do this kind of lifestyle, one, if you have some sort of job that lets you work remotely from your computer, you're already gonna be at an advantage. Um, the number one thing I regret of going to university is I wish I'd gone to university for computer engineering instead. I wish I learned how to code in school and knew how to web code because that 
is such a lucrative business. I now have taught myself enough about coding that I can do a lot of custom CSS and I can build WordPress themes and I can do HTML, but I would love to learn even more about coding. So you should learn how to code if you know how to. Working remotely, the other thing is like you can find jobs anywhere. Like if you go to Australia, you can get a tourist visa where you can work in Australia for a year. And even if you go work on a farm or if you go and work in like a restaurant, you're still able to travel and save up enough money while you're on the go that you can move from job to job. Or if you know how to scuba dive, getting your dive masters or your instructors um, level of scuba diving is awesome because you can go and you can work at a dive shop for like three months and save up enough money to keep being able to go traveling. But at the same time, you also get to experience scuba diving, which is awesome. Like I said before, I like to have a small cushion of cash before I leave just so that I can settle my feet in wherever I'm going and get back into the groove of being on the road before I need to. And I can choose like how much work I take on and not be worried about running out of money. But that is all about what I do for work and how I'm able to afford to travel. I hope this kind of helped you guys and made a bit of sense. If you got any questions and don't understand anything that I've said because I've just rambled for the last like 20 minutes. No, how long? 15. 15, oh, I'm doing better this time. If you got any questions, just leave them for me down below. Oh, and just to let you guys know as well, I am now vlogging again, so if you want to join me on my travels and actually see what we get up to on a day-to-day -day basis. Me and Julian, he he's taken over my vlogging channel and he's been awesome and he's been editing everything for me and uploading it. We've been filming it together and we've been uploading once every like three days-ish over on there. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to it down below. It's just youtube.com slash more Coley and that is where you can find our vlogs and keep up to date with our travels. The other place that you can see it is make sure to follow us on Instagram, both of us, and you guys can see like updates and follow us on Snapchat and I'll leave all those links for you guys down below if you want to see them. But that is all I got for you guys today. I will catch you guys in the next one and yeah, bye.